Most of us end up learning something about dinosaurs in school. Maybe you think dinos are pretty cool. But right now, I'm going to tell you why they're important. Learning about dinosaurs is an excellent way to gain environmental literacy. To start, imagine a line from zero to a million. Take your finger or mouse cursor and put it where you think 1,000 would be on the line. Don't overthink it. You only have about five, four, three, two, one. The answer is one one thousandth of the way across, which means that large numbers like one million are really big. And one billion is a thousand millions, which means it's really, really big. Imagine how that would look on the number line. So suppose I told you that your genome has over 3 billion base pairs in it, or that 20 million years ago the climate had more CO2 than now, or you share the planet with 7 billion humans. Do you really comprehend what these huge numbers mean? Deep time is so large, it's too large for our brains to comprehend. And the natural time scales in life, which guide evolution, extinction, and climate change, are too big, which is a barrier for people to understand large environmental issues. Environmental literacy is about context, understanding that your life in society and the economy exists within the environment and depend on its natural processes. It all resolves around our little planet. Geology, climate, and evolution have the answers that explain the world around us, but the processes that really matter, they take a very long time, much longer than most people could hope to grasp. So how many years have humans recorded? Only 3,000, and this is rounding up, a generous estimate based on Chinese texts from the 500s BCE. How long have humans existed at all? Well, actually, only 200,000 years, which means that we've recorded 1% of our entire existence, which is not bad. Now, this is based on anatomically correct humans, Homo sapiens sapiens. So how many years since dinosaurs became extinct? 65 million years. And that's due to the asteroid impact, like you probably were taught about in school. So that's 65,000 thousand years. Do you think your species, Homo sapiens sapiens, are gonna make it to a million? We would need to repeat recorded history 300 times without an extinction incident, without knowing what future technology is gonna be like. Think of nuclear weapons. Sustainability is about letting our society and our way of life persist in the long term. And so we have to start planning for deeper time spans. We have to consider deep time in our daily lives. To be sustainable, we have to learn about dinosaurs. Their context was the same as ours, rich with ecology, evolution, climate change, extinctions. All the best concepts of environmental literacy can be learned this way. They're often seen as lumbering failures, but the truth is far from this. They dominated terrestrial ecosystems for 250 million years, and remember that they only went extinct 65 million years ago. They developed a lot of biodiversity, and any understanding of dinosaur ecology hinges on natural science, the same processes as today. Their distribution and evolution was guided by chemical, tectonic, and climatic dis differences. And ecological concepts like evolution, climate, and population dynamics apply to dinosaurs the same as people. When humans learn about them in the prehistoric context, they're learned by accident. And they don't get tied down with political baggage. Nobody's framing the concepts to push their agenda. Think of something like methane being released by large animals. Someone might tell you not to eat beef, but I would just tell you the dinosaur farts change the climate. An important concept to learn is the reality of extinction. And that's an important lesson to be learned from dinosaurs. New species are created. Nature will be completely fine if humans go extinct, but it's a realistic possibility, especially if you're looking in the long term. But dinosaurs, they let us comprehend deep time, climate science, evolution, extinction, sustainability, and really give us an environmentally literate look at the context of life. So thanks for your attention, and on the right I'll leave you with an illustration of the Therizinosaurus inviting a Tyrannosaurus Rex to come at me bro. Have a good one.